That's the alarm is saying we need to go and explore that buffet. Let's go. So please hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a vlog for you. Did you hear my voice go then? <coughs> Sorry, it is quite early. It is, well, it's not actually, it's quarter past eight. Um, but I've been up since 6 a.m. And I got here last night um, at around 1 a.m. I think it was by the time I got to the hotel. Basically, I've been traveling all weekend. So if you want to watch the come to the airport and come fly with me video, I'll link that in the description box down below for you. But I am in Xingdao. I'm going to check the pronunciation of that because I think I'm saying it wrong. Qingdao. Yeah, I'll check <laughs> and sort it out for the rest of the video to make sure I'm saying it correctly. But I am there in China and I'll pop the caption on the screen just to um, clarify where I am. Um, but yeah, I'm there in China and I'm going to be working out here for the next week. Many of you know that I also work as a producer and director of shoots, as well as doing my own stuff on here, of course. So um, that's what I'm doing this week. So I'm really looking forward to that. I feel all right considering I've only had three hours sleep. So yeah, I got to sleep. Um, I think I went to bed at 3 a.m. and I got up at six and went to the gym. There's a lovely gym here. Um, so it was nice to be able to go and have a little workout because I just feel like I've been sat for a long time. I've been on an airplane for quite a long time. Essentially, I've been kind of traveling right the way across the weekend. So um, yeah, it was nice to Nice to have a little workout, get myself moving. Um, and today um, we've got a down day here essentially, which is just a day kind of to get ourselves sorted before um, the shoot itself, hence having a chance to catch up um, and sort myself out. So today um, the plan is, obviously I've got to sort of prepare all my work stuff, go through all my notes, that kind of thing get myself sorted for the shoot and also I'm going to have a little explore later on so we're going to head down to kind of like the beach area I think for a little look around so I'll definitely um, include some footage of that I'm just about to go down to breakfast at the hotel and you know me I love a breakfast buffet I've been thinking about that since going to bed last night because there wasn't food on the connecting flight, which was like an 11, 10 p.m. flight, kind of quite late, so it was only an hour and a half, but um, no food on it. I had a meal before getting on the flight, saying that. So it's not like I really needed a meal on the flight. I just don't know what it is about traveling, but I just want to eat all the time. <laughs> I turn into like a dustbin. It's like, give me all the food, especially when you're on the airplane. The more, the better. Um, so yeah. Good job that I went to the gym this morning, actually. I think it was much needed. Um, but yeah, I have been dreaming about the hotel buffet. For the three hours sleep that I did have. So I'm gonna head down there in a minute. Might catch some of the um, guys that I'm working with down there. And then um, I'm gonna do a bit of work this morning. Just get myself all sorted out. I wanna sort of prepare all my work bag and yeah, just print out some documents here at the hotel. I haven't managed to print out my documents that I need for my shoot. Does anyone else have a nightmare printing things at home? Is it just me? I swear to goodness, whenever I want to print a document, it, it will just go disastrously wrong if I do it at home, so I don't bother. <laughs> I always do it on the road. I'll always find like the hotel printer and just do it there instead. Because the minute I get mine out at home, it just, it just doesn't like me and just spits paper out and jams or the ink runs out after about 10 sheets of paper. So that's that, I won't bore you anymore with um, a printer chat the alarm is saying we need to go and explore that buffet. Let's go. Qingdao. After me. Qingdao. 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 Do we have the correct pronunciation of your name? Probably not. Everyone gets my name wrong. Yuan. <laughs> I always get called Iwan. <laughs> Ivan. Iwan. Qingdao, Qingdao, okay. I think it's, you know when you see a word written and then you just, yeah. I've got to stop thinking Qing, Qingdao, Qingdao. Simple, just think of the beer. It's famous for its beer here, so I'm sure at some point we'll be exploring that. Just wanna quickly show you out the window, at the view. So we arrived when it was dark, so 
the only sense I could get of the place was that it is massive, which seems to be a running theme on my trips to China. If you want to have a look at Chengdu, where I went last year, I'll link that vlog in the description box. But yeah, look at this. Oh, what's that down there? Do we have a shopping center? That would be exciting. Wow, it is huge. Always blows my mind when places are this big. You think London's big? I look a bit ginger this morning. I don't know what's going on there. Is it the sunlight? I don't know, or maybe I've just got a tinge. <laughs> a ginger tinge. Um, yes, what was I saying? I forgot, should we just go down and eat something? I think we should. I'm very excited for the buffet. Don't stop, turn off the lights. Nauseous, when I wake up, don't quit. It's Chinese New Year very soon, and I understand that 2020 is going to be the year of the mouse. overwhelmed and I just went for a bit of everything so I've got some salmon some Japanese style fish some pak choy I think that's what that is nice greens anyway some sushi some chopped onion and capers I don't know what I was doing up there is this an egg I think it's an egg I hope it's an egg well breakfast was very enjoyable and I'll be looking forward to having that breakfast throughout the week because the options were endless. There was Chinese food, there was a bit of Western food, there was everything in between. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I do love a hotel breakfast, in case you haven't guessed already. I've just got changed. Um, I'm going to pop out to the shopping mall, there's a big shopping mall just across the way so I thought we'll have a quick look in there. I was going to go back to bed and have a little nap but I feel a bit like... Um, yeah, goodness knows what's going to happen with sleep, but um, it is now 10 to 11, so I'm going to pop over there and just have a little look around. I just feel like having a little mooch, then I might come back and have a nap, and then we'll be heading to the beach a bit later. So let's go and have a look at the shops. And it's brightened up out there now, so we can get a better view. There's a mountain in the distance over there, and you just really get an idea of quite how dense this city really is. This is the hotel from the outside. As you can see, it is massive. It all looks completely different now that I'm outside, so I've completely lost my sense of direction. Everything's so big, so I don't even know if walking's a good idea. I mean, obviously you can walk, but yeah, there's a lot of taxis around, so. Hmm. Oh, I've seen the mountain. Okay, so I think we're heading in the direction of where we were looking out the window, so I can see the mountain up ahead. So I've just been having a quick look at the currency um, conversion, and 10 Chinese yen is the equivalent of about 1.45 US dollars, or I think it's like one pound 10p. Just to give you an idea of the prices. This actually reminds me of the shopping center that I went to in Chengdu, similar kind of layout. Just having a quick look at what's here. They've got an indoor theme park. There's an ice rink. Wow, it's actually massive. Make it work although we get 
I'm up to the top floor of the shopping mall and there's kind of like this roof garden area. Quite interesting up here. It's nice to get a bit of fresh air to wake me up a little bit because it is quite chilly here. I say fresh air, it's quite polluted. It's a very busy city. This is called Park in the Sky. Just underneath all the skyscrapers. the past. I don't think I've had Wrigley's since I was at school. I've had to get a coffee. <laughs> Feeling very spaced out at the moment. I think I might pop back to the hotel and have a little nap before I head out later on. Nice coffee though. Show you some of the vehicles here. China Post over there. Look at this little one. There are people swimming in the sea here, which is quite impressive considering it's probably about two degrees. hotel it was really nice going down to the beach it's very calm down there everywhere seems quite quiet here which was quite unusual and I can't believe that there's people swimming in the sea it is so chilly so hats off to them because I certainly wouldn't fancy going in that water I'm feeling absolutely pooped so what I'm going to do now is have some snacks I've just picked up from the supermarket and I might have to call it a night I mean, it's quarter to five, so I'm going to hang on for as long as possible. But yeah, I'm probably just going to watch some Netflix or something like that. And then, yeah, might have to just call it a night. So um, I'll probably pick up the vlog on my last day here. Um, maybe last morning when I'll have a bit of free time then, hopefully, before heading back. So I might take you on the flight with me home as well. This is what I've just picked up at the supermarket. We've got these, which look like... Pringles, I love paprika crisps. Emergency bananas, of course. I thought these were quite nice. They're little baked sour cream and chive. I'm thinking they might be pea. Oh, black bean baked crisps. And the most gigantic full fat Coke. It's that kind of vibe. I know we um, did the gin this morning, but now we're drinking a gallon of full fat Coke. There's two in there, and I've got some cashews as well. Good morning, it is a few days later. I have finished my work here. The shoot went really, really well. The crew were fantastic. The guys that I was working with were lovely. All went really, really well. So that's all done. I've just got a few bits to type up and work is finished. Today is the day that I start my travels back to London. So I'll be flying from Qingdao to Shanghai today and then I've got an overnight there and then heading back to London. So yeah, I've had a really brilliant time. I've got lots of footage that I'm going to insert for you now just to show you a little bit around Qingdao. I'm still struggling to pronounce it because in my head I see how it's written and I say it. Anyway, Qingdao um, has been fabulous. You've heard it all before Honest but I know Left these years ago I was young and I'm old, still care for the void. Oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, feel sorrow. What do we do 
to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? love the city it's just so interesting here i still can't get my head around just how big this city is it's got a population of nine million people and you just see tower block after tower block after tower block full of apartments and i'm thinking where are all these people because the streets don't seem really busy if that makes sense so anyway it's been fantastic it's been very interesting i have tried spider for the first time tasted kind of like a pork scratching kind of enjoyed it <laughs> um the food's been amazing the breakfast at the hotel's been incredible I've had some lovely lunches and last night i went out um, with the guys that i've been working with and we saw the light show here so they're putting on this fabulous light show on all the buildings as well which was spectacular i've never seen something like that and yeah it just blew my mind how they can control all these little LED lights over all of these huge buildings on the skyline and create these amazing patterns and displays on them. It was incredible. Followed by a few cocktails, <laughs> which I enjoyed last night, including one that came in a birdcage and one that came with an edible lipstick, which I really enjoyed. So this morning, I'm just editing a video. I'm just putting up a come to the airport and fly with me video. So if you want to watch that, that will be already live when you're watching this one. And then I'll probably wind this vlog up I think but what I might do on the way home is do another fly with me video because I'm going to be flying back from Shanghai to London Heathrow in business class with BA which I'm so excited about and I fully intend to make the most of those 11 hours in the sky. One thing about being here as well is I've really enjoyed being up while the UK is sleeping because it's kind of meant that while I've been getting on with work here that my emails have been quiet so I've just been able to deal with those when I've been getting up early in the morning. I mean basically my jet lag has been ridiculous here and I've been waking up every day at 4am <laughs> um, and then going to bed at about 8pm which was kind of good actually because it meant that I got some bits done in the morning before I start my shooting day and then yeah just get back to the hotel and literally crash and go to bed so that went out the window last night though when I went out for a few drinks didn't get home home <laughs> it feels like home now my hotel room home till um I think it was probably about gone midnight last night so yeah I've got a couple of hours um have I yeah I've got about two two and a half hours until I'm heading to the airport so I'm just gonna get packed up um yeah as I say I'm uploading a video and I'll leave you with a few clips of the trip, I think. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed this little glimpse um, at Qingdao with me. Oh, the beer as well. The beer here, which it's famous for. Um, they do beer in a bag, in a plastic carrier bag that you can just take home in a bag and then decant it from the carrier bag, which blew my mind i didn't know that was a thing but i think it should be in the uk as well really like that um but yes um i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did do give it a little thumbs up there'll be more travel vlogs throughout the year i'm sure as i go on my travels so i'll always take you with me wherever i can do so if you do like the travel vlogs give this video a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe if you haven't done so already i've just caught a glimpse of myself and yeah i need to sort this out i'm <laughs> looking absolutely pooped that's the mood um but yes so i'm gonna get myself sorted um and head off and then there might be one more vlog from this trip coming which will be flying home if i manage to capture that so oh i'm just looking outside it's a foggy day today um the mist has come down as you can see but yeah um i'll leave you here i'm just rabbiting on now so i'm gonna say goodbye but yeah thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye
for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for with sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? 